I just have to note, I am not a financial advisor. Please consult one. And the views expressed here are strictly my own and do not reflect my employer. Compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it, earns it. He who doesn't, pays it. Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein thought compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. How is it calculated? So let's go back to our $100 example. I have $100 in a money market account. This account pays me 2% interest over the span of a year. So each year I earn 2% on the account. So the first year I have $100 in my account, put it in there Jan 1, December 31, I have $102 in my account. I leave all that money in there. Jan 1 of the next year I have $102. That $102 sits in the account for a year. Then December 31st of that year, my $102 got 2% interest on it. So now that $102 is $104.04. And I did absolutely nothing but keep that money in that account. So my $102 earned $2.04 interest. So the interest compounded. The interest was on the initial deposit and the interest from the previous year. Interest on interest, as people like to say. So my $100 turned into $102, which in the next year turned into $104.04. .04. That is the beauty of compound interest. It just keeps compounding and compounding and compounding, and you get paid interest on the initial deposit and the interest. I love this chart, and I'm obsessed with this chart. This is a J.P. Morgan chart. Uh, JP Morgan Asset Management created it. It was in the Business Insider. I love it. Saving fundamentals. Harnessing the power of compounding can greatly impact the amount of savings over the long term. When I talk about retirement and I'm looking at 20 year olds and they're like, why are you talking to me about retirement? I literally cannot pay rent right now. And I'm like, but you don't understand. You have the beauty of time on your side and Time is just something that you can never get back. And the older you get, <clears throat> me, the older you realize that that is something that you can never get back. And it's so valuable. So Susan invests 5000 annually between the ages of 25 and 35. Literally every year she invests 5000 In total, she invests $50,000. That's it. Never puts a penny in again after the age of 35. Bill invests 5000 annually between the ages of 35 and 65. So he waits until he's 35 and then invests every single year from 35 to 65. In total, he invests $150,000. Chris invests $5,000 between the ages of 25 and 65. In total, he invests $200,000. He starts at 25. He never ends. Chris, who's invested $200,000, when he gets to the age of 65, that turns into $1,142,811. All of this is saying uh, account value. This example assumes a 7% annual return. All of this is on the chart. The compounding is the process of earning return on the principal plus the return that was earned earlier. But the point that I think is most, most, most important is if you go back to our friend Susan, who invests only from the age of 25 to 35, and our friend Bill, who waits until he's 35 and literally invests every year from 35 to 65. So let's see, Susan at the end ends up with 602070. And then our friend Bill ends up with 54741. Even though Bill invested a hundred thousand dollars more because he waited 10 years he ends up with sixty one thousand three hundred and twenty nine dollars less than Susan who just put in fifty thousand dollars but she started at the age of 25 okay that's the beauty of time and compound interest so when I talk to you about retiring in your 20s and you're going, you're crazy, you have time on your side right now. And any money that you invest right now, your older self will be very, very, very thankful for it. Just take the chart in, just look at it, go to this Business Insider article. It's actually really interesting. Just 
Google JP Morgan compound interest retirement. Go find the chart. It's fantastic. Read the article. You have time on your side. And yes, you should be thinking about retirement in your 20s.